Our developer team uses Linear every day. And while it's amazing for managing tasks and projects, it doesn't help with setting aside time on your calendar to actually get things done. If you wanted to plan your workday, you would need to manually switch between Linear and your calendar, copy pasting things like the issue name, the link to the issue, and more. Instead, what if you could manage all of your calendar events and work tasks all in one place, even ones outside of Linear? What if scheduling your day is as easy as dragging and dropping your tasks onto your calendar? And lastly, what if you could create optimized schedules using AI that prioritize the most important and time-sensitive tasks based on your preferences? Fortunately, this is where a powerful planning app like Morgan comes in. I'm John from the Morgan Dev team, and in this video, I'm excited to show you how you could do everything I just mentioned with our linear integration. So by going through the three parts of this video, you'll have the tools and skills needed to effectively start planning your work days. Of course, before we can start time blocking, we'll need to first connect the apps we want to integrate with Morgan. You'll need to have at least one calendar set up, which you can do by clicking on your profile picture, going to preferences, then going to the calendar section here. To connect your account, you can just choose your provider, click sign in, and then follow the process there. But once that's done, you should be able to see your calendar right here. Right now, only my Outlook work calendar is connected, but you can feel free to also connect other personal calendars as well to see them in the calendar view. If we look at the calendar, I can already see my meetings as well as other basic events like my morning routine and my lunch breaks. Now that the calendar is set up, let's integrate Linear. We can go back to settings, tasks and projects, then choose Linear from the options. I don't have this connected yet, so I'm going to sign in. Once you put in your credentials, you can click Authorize. Once we authorize the app, we can start configuring the integration. We can choose the teams we want to import tasks from. In this case, I'm only on the dev team, so I can only choose that. Next, we could choose which issues to import, and this depends on how your team works. For me, all the tickets I need to work on are already decided and assigned to me at the start of the sprint, so I prefer to only import issues that are assigned to me that are started or not yet started. And lastly, you can enable downloading of issue descriptions from Linear, but I personally don't use it and have it disabled. After that, we can just save the configuration and we'll be taken back to Morgan. After the initial sync is finished, we can see our linear issues inside Morgan by exiting the settings and clicking on the linear icon in the task tab up here. By default, they will be grouped by project, but if you use due dates on your linear issues, you might see something like this where they're organized based on time. If we open this up, we can see that for each task, information is synced, like the different issue properties, like the project they're in, this one's sync API, the priority, which here is undefined, and any linked pull requests that we can just easily access by clicking on here. And if a task has due dates, the due dates will also be visible on the calendar itself, like this. But this is a Morgan task, not a linear task. Now, I don't really need to see all these properties while scheduling my day, and sometimes projects can have a lot of issues, so it can be hard to find the ones I'm looking for. This is where we can personalize this task view to our liking. So if we click on the view button up here, I can begin changing the way we see these issues. Instead of grouping by project, I can instead group by state so I can easily see the pending issues I'm working on like dragging the in-progress and in-review states to the top so I can see those before I see the tasks I haven't started yet. Now, some of these properties aren't really that useful when I schedule my day, so in this section, I can disable some of them, like the identifier, the cycle, because it'll always be the current sprint, as well as the assignee, since it will always be me. I prefer to show tasks on the sidebar even if they're scheduled, so I'm going to keep this enabled. And in case I do have due dates, I don't really need to see the due soon list, which is up to two weeks, so I'm going to disable that. And then looking at how this looks, 
in case I do have different issues with different priorities, I would like them to be sorted by those. As for the way these tasks are sorted, by default, it's sorted by the Morgan priority factor, which is a special value calculated based on different factors like the priority, the due date, and the length of the task to help suggest tasks that are most important and urgent. So I prefer to just use this since it kind of combines everything. But if you want, you can also change it to something like priority. I'm just going to keep it as Morgan priority factor though. And there we go. Task list looks pretty good. So now that we have Linear fully set up in Morgan, it's time to start planning our days by time blocking the work that needs to get done. As I've mentioned earlier, this can be done either manually or with the AI planner. Let's first learn how to plan a workday the manual way. In addition to my issues in Linear, I also keep track of other work-related tasks in Morgan Tasks under the list Morgan. These don't really fit in Linear, but I still want to schedule time for them since I need to get them done. This can include things like recording this very video or any small errands that I just have to do that aren't really development related. When I plan my day, I want to be able to see both of these tasks. And you can do this just by clicking on the all tasks view here, or if you wanted to only filter for tasks related to work, if you had other integrations set up as well, you could click on this filter icon in the top right and then select the task sources you want to view tasks from. So for the Morgan integration, it will be the Morgan task list. And for linear, it will also be all tasks. And as you can see, they'll both be mixed into the sidebar view. Our settings, unfortunately, don't save here, so we'll have to reconfigure those. With this combined view, it is a bit tedious to have everything organized by projects since I could technically work on any of these tasks for today. So I'm going to just set the grouping to no grouping and have everything all show up in one list organized by the Morgan priority factor. And to save this view for future use, I can click on save and save it. I'm going to call it Morgan. Nice sun icon. There we go. So now, instead of having to copy paste links and titles of issues, you just simply have to drag and drop from your calendar. Today's already ending, so I'm going to schedule for tomorrow. I'm just going to change the view to be only one day, maybe two. You can do this just by pressing command or control and then the number of days you want to see. So command two will show me tomorrow and the day after. Although these tasks are recommended for me first, I do want to work within the constraints of these meetings and these smaller open time blocks. So I have an hour here, maybe I have like two hours ish worth of time throughout here. So I might just work on this issue and have it span the entire time block here. Alternatively, you could just make it fill in the gaps and then just copy the event a few times or just drag and drop it again and resize as needed. And if you want, you can even change the name of the event from the linear title to be more specific on what you want to do during that time block. Maybe here it's planning, how to fix it, and then here it's development, and then here would be testing or something. It depends on how you like to work on features or bugs. Anyways, let's continue time blocking. We have a lot of free time here. So this is where we can have uninterrupted time for our more important tasks. So here I'm going to drag and drop the linear video for 90 minutes. And then after, share the assets, take a little break in between here before I work on this bigger issue for a few hours. Maybe something like that. And as you go through the day, all you have to do once you complete a time block 
is just click on the checkbox and you'll see some confetti show up to celebrate your win and accomplishments. I'm going to undo this because I, that's for tomorrow. <laughs> and of course, tomorrow, if you feel like priorities change, maybe something takes longer than expected, you could always just resize and adjust it as you go throughout the day. But with that, we now have a plan that we can start completing throughout the day. Last but not least, I think we're ready to take our planning to the next level with the AI planner. If you're finding yourself overwhelmed with figuring out what issues to prioritize first, the AI planner can help overcome planning paralysis or give you an initial schedule that you can then fine tune to your liking. For the best planning experience, we will need to create frames, which are special slots in our calendar that guide the AI planner. For example, you can have a deep work frame that will only include development work and then a different frame later on that will make room for reviewing PRs and emails. Having to set up frames might sound like manual planning, but think of it like a dynamic template that you only need to set up once for the AI planner to reuse and follow for future planning sessions. Let's create frames for the rest of my weekday. So I'll change the view to be all the way till the end of the week. Actually, let's do the next seven days just so you see how it looks for the entire week ahead. So what I can do is I can create two four hour frames, one before lunch and one after lunch. So before lunch, I have a bunch of meetings and that can lead to some fragmented time throughout those four hours. But with the AI planner, I can have it automatically fill in the gaps with tasks to work on. So to create a frame, it's the same way you would create an event. Just click and drag, choose frame, Let's name this just work and we can filter tasks based on the save filter we created earlier. And this will schedule anything work related. By default, the frame repeats every weekday, but you can also change it to only happen once a week or just once. I'm keeping it at every weekday. Instead of creating a four hour frame after lunch, I want to create a two hour frame and I want this to be a deep work frame where I focus only on my most important project, which currently is the sync API. So nothing else will be scheduled in here. Nothing from my Morgan task list, only issues related to this project will be scheduled here. So I'm going to save this. And then after I can have the same filter as my first frame work, save. Realize I forgot to rename this one. Let's name it Sync API. And update all occurrences. Now to run the AI planner, we can just hover over one of these frames and then start the AI planner here. As you can see, the AI planner has scheduled the tasks we have remaining. It hasn't scheduled our task to record the linear video because we've already scheduled the amount of time we were supposed to previously and same goes for this share assets one and I think this mobile app one as well. And the order they were scheduled in is a bit different from how it shows on here, but that's because all these tasks have the same priority and there's no due dates to prioritize one over the other. I've actually quickly went and changed this issue to have a high priority just so you could see that in action it being suggested to be worked on first. You can also see that it doesn't schedule anything where there's already an event like the standup meeting we have here. You can also customize the way the AI planner works. You can ask it to plan more days ahead, which also change the view, but we don't have many tasks in here right now, so there's nothing left to schedule. You can change the way breaks are added into the plan. So if I drag it to the right, it gives me more break time. I drag it to the left, it gives me less. You can change the default duration if an issue doesn't have a specific time estimate. Right now it's set to an hour. You can split long tasks. You can schedule tasks with no due dates, which we have enabled for both. 
Now, remember that these are just suggestions on how to plan your day based on the task's properties. We still have a chance to review and make changes to this plan before confirming the scheduled slots onto our calendar. For example, if this will take more than an hour, you can change the estimate. I can change it to something like four hours. You'll end up taking this entire slot. As you can see, there's nothing scheduled in the Sync API because this is the only remaining task that needs to be scheduled from the Sync API project. This one was already scheduled yesterday and already had all of its time scheduled. So there will be open space in this frame if you don't have any tasks that could fit in it. But after that, we have the remaining issues and tasks that we can work on. To fill up the time here, I'm actually just going to move this task over here and that should be good. So I'm just going to schedule all and it will be right in our calendar. Look at that. Tomorrow and the day after are pretty much planned and ready for me to start working. Congratulations! Instead of being limited by Linear's lack of time management features, we can now easily create effective schedules that give us clarity and confidence for the day. If you're ready to start time blocking your own workdays, you can start using this integration yourself by visiting our website morgan.so.